Here's my review of GTEC Silver PLA. So I'm going to take a look at uh, GTEC uh, PLA uh, Silver. So uh, it's inside there. So first time using this, uh, but got a bit of a deal. So I'm going to try a uh, new brand there. So obviously the uh, pretty good seal. So it's coming uh, nice and... Uh, Dry, I hope. So I look here. Oops, here at the uh, winding. Oops. Pretty good so far. So no real obvious uh, issues here. Um, all right. So obviously I got the bag off. Uh, it does come with some uh, plastic to. Uh, keep the winding tight there I guess so uh, uh, so again here's a look silver uh, all right all right so I got the uh, plastic wrapping off there you can read that there like 1182 so there's my starting weight um, in case it matters, it did come with a uh, Ziploc bag here in the box. I'm not going to use that because I use uh, sort of vacuum sealer bags um, of my own to, uh, to seal uh, partially used filaments. So let me um, um, get this uh, ready to go in the printer. feels uh, pretty pliable here. So uh, looks like it's in good shape, ready to go. So let me uh, get it loaded and start some printing here all right so as I got ready for printing I realized there's something missing here it's what temperature to print so nothing on the packaging here nothing on the Amazon listing nothing on their website about what temperature is recommended for this PLA so I did some experimenting and had some success, had one failure, but I'll look at that here in a moment. All right, so I've done a good bit of work here with the G-Tech Silver PLA. I'm going to admit that most of my printing has been with uh, PLA Plus, so um, took a little while. Um, I was doing some... Uh, test with uh, retraction and uh, was able to uh, get a pretty good result there that I was happy. Uh, I'll put all my printer settings here uh, in a minute. I uh, did all the basic sort of temp tower stuff and uh, all of that. Uh, I was calibrating the flow rates and uh, dialed in that I needed, uh, I'm using Prusa Slicer, I needed 1.04 on the flow rate to um, get a uh, uh, good width there on here, so I experimented there. Um, of course, did my uh, benchy, turned out really well. Um, here's just a little thing on the infill, but I always do that to um, uh, sort of show how the infill kind of comes through. So let me uh, sort of compare this to a, uh, this is eSun uh, PLA Plus, it's a uh, gray. Um, and uh, so, you know, I always intentionally kind of go for those lines there to sort of see what's going on. And, uh, you know, neither of which is absolutely perfect, but um, turned out uh, pretty well. The, uh, not sure why the seam uh, didn't hide better here. I got to sort of figure out what's, uh, what's going on there. But uh, otherwise, uh, you know, pretty happy Benchy. Um, you know, did my cube to make sure dimensionally uh, things were pretty good. And again, just showing me uh, where the infill begins here on the Lego cube in there. Um, and uh, so a little filament swatch that I like to do. Just having a little 
little issue with a string there at the, the very, very end. So comparing that to um, the uh, eSun here, um, sort of showing the color. Um, not sure. So here's here's one of my problems is I was trying to uh, kind of go for um, good retraction here and uh, just look like one, 190 was hot enough to uh, um, give me, and I'm just showing this again as a PLA plus in Nissan, but so PLA, a little bit different temperatures and 190 looked really, really good here. Uh, but um, turns out I think that was a little a little too cool so maybe that's why uh, didn't get as great a results here on this swatch as I um, I did on the, the PLA plus here with the, the Isan um, and end up I actually got my first clog so after that I started printing everything uh, a bit hotter and, uh, 200 or 210 and uh, then started getting some uh, better results here with things cooking a little hotter and I still have uh, some uh, supports there to remove but otherwise uh, everything on my little dice tower um, turned out really well and uh, happy with that uh, printer test now this was also done at 190 uh, I thought it turned out pretty well uh, kind of got a little um, up there but again so did my PLA plus the the eSun um, that I used the most there um, sort of had some issues there as well um, backside I haven't quite investigated what happened here but uh, for the most part uh, worked worked well um, was able to uh, do you know, all the tests to uh, dial in settings um, you know pretty decent here a little uh, rose that I'm going to print out a stem and have a nice little silver rose for my uh, wife for Mother's Day, um, so don't tell her. Um, there we go. Everything worked fine. Again, I think user error uh, cooking a little too low led to the uh, the clog there. Once I was in the uh, 200 to uh, 210 range, everything worked out really well. Um, another fun, crazy print that uh, I just do on everything here. So again, comparing the eSun to uh, <clears throat> the GTEC. And again, mixing the PLA plus with the PLA here. But uh, overall, I think it uh, just showed that the filament did about as well. Uh, so I am uh, pleased with that. Hope this is a helpful look. Hope you have a great day and happy printing.